Lois McIver was in her late 40s when she began experiencing debilitating migraines. They subsided after her doctor recommended birth control pills. Not too long after she got off of them, in her mid-50s, there was a new set of symptoms that came all at once. Six months later, no periods, you know, oh, it was just hot flashes daily, like, 20 times a day. Lois, who has three grown daughters, was going through perimenopause, a transitional stage when the body is preparing to stop ovulating. The birth control pills may put off what was inevitable. There's nothing like that to kind of prepare you that this might happen and what you might go through. Dr. Rebecca Whiteley is an OBGYN at Northern Light Mercy Women's Health. She says menopause is only one day in a woman's life, which is exactly when she has not had a period for 12 months but it can be a moving target. You know, the average age for menopause is 51, uh, but you know, some people start menopause in their early 40s, some people start in their late 50s. Some women can start even earlier in their 30s. Experts list 34 different symptoms which can start before menopause actually begins. Hot flashes affect around 75% of menopausal women. Other more common symptoms include fatigue, irregular periods, night sweats, mood swings, sleep disorders, and memory problems all the result of dropping levels of estrogen. But some women don't get any symptoms. Now, in some cases, doctors may recommend hormone replacement therapy known as HRT to supplement low estrogen levels. And there are other options to take the edge off of those hot flashes, including blood pressure medication and antidepressants. So if you don't feel like you're getting anywhere with your primary care doctor, don't stop there. Most people can get in to see a gynecologist with out necessarily needing a referral. As for Lois, hormone replacement therapy was not an option because a treatment can carry an increased risk for breast cancer and the disease runs in her family. With the support of her husband, she stayed active and took care of herself. I had an exercise regimen every single morning that I would get up and do, um, and I think that helps quite a bit. Um, trying to eat healthy, um, stay positive, Except for an occasional hot flash, Lois is now on the other side. She encourages other women to find out everything they can about perimenopause so they can make the transition more manageable. In Bridgeton, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Now there are free treatment options for managing symptoms such as cognitive behavioral therapy. There are also a number of herbal remedies on the market that experts say are unlikely to work, but some patients swear by them.